Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, share and like and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I like to have a lot of fun on my channel. I'm a psychic empath. I do a little life coaching, a little gossiping, a little psychic reading. And I like to call my viewers alienators. So let me know your thoughts and feelings and complaints in the comment box down below. I answer every question. I'm available for private readings. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which is tomorrow. Bye, alienators. Hello, alienators. Welcome back to my channel. New subscribers, welcome. Apparently, I'm getting a lot of new subscribers because someone's giving me a shout out on their Instagram story. You guys know who that is. Anyways, I want to uh, do a quick video for you guys uh, that's been highly requested. Let me just show you guys this beautiful necklace that was sent to me um, by my uh, Jewish uh, ancestors on my dad's side from Israel. Isn't this beautiful with the Hamsa? And yeah, I love this necklace so much. It protects me from negativity and jealousy and envious eyes. And we all know who that is, honey. So anyways, I want to do a video today uh, on Selena and Justin because I did a video um, a couple, couple of days ago. I can't even remember. I do so many videos now. I can't even remember what the hell I did um, on, you know, is Selena Gomez coming for Justin? So. I wanted to take a look and see if there's indeed a future about them because the way it's being um, depicted in in the media is that Justin is super happy being married to Haley and they're so in love with each other and then meanwhile as this story is unfolding before us and we're really uh, some of us are really really believing this narrative that they're trying to show us that they're really in love and Justin's just crazy for her and this whole thing behind the scenes there's a lot of shady weird things happening um Haley Baldwin is liking and unliking pictures of Selena the whole shebang with Demi Lovato Justin constantly uh trying to one-up Selena so it doesn't feel like Justin has moved on like you, you don't even have to be a psychic empath to figure that out uh, but it doesn't feel like he's moved on and it feels like he's just like in some sort of like a direct or indirect like competition with her and of course we all know that we, we can see everyone's like in, when you go into the instagram story like you can see um you can see in the news feed all these celebrities like clips and things because even if you're not following them it's going to uh show it to everyone and it keeps like repeating even though, even though if you go down uh, and scroll down on Instagram is still gonna those celebrity clips are gonna be like the most popular most viewed and it's gonna keep like repeating for everyone to see so we all know that um, I keep sliding in this freaking chair we all know that um, what's the word uh, we all know that Justin and, and Selena are able to see each other's news feed I mean they're clips and things on the on the news feed so whether selena's doing it or not but we know for sure justin's doing it because every time selena does something justin does the same thing the next day so i wanted to take a look because a lot of you guys are like do they have a future is is it possible that they're going to get back together because of the twin flame soulmate that they share i am i am going to do a separate video today about the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame because there is a difference and the difference is actually quite profound and um, the relationship between twin flames are actually a lot more volatile and toxic because of their relationship to each other uh, my boyfriend and I are twin flames and that's why are we you know it's like we're like the same person and then we we're we're, we're projecting into each other all the time so uh, and I want to say, say something not to be bitchy or anything like that, but like if I want to give relationship advice or I do private coaching because I specialize in relationships and I do psychic readings or whatever like that, um, I've been in relationships my entire life. I'm not single. I don't have a problem uh, with men committing to committing to, committing to me. Uh, men fall in love with me quite easily and effortlessly and quickly, and I'm the one that's always like, "What? Like I need time." So. I not only bring my experiences to my viewers, but I also bring the psychological, but more than anything, the spiritual, energetic 
reason for it. So I know there's a lot of fake channels that pretend to be talking about a relationship or giving relationship advice, but in reality, they're just plagiarizing based off, you know, some book or some something that someone's written. And then they go and, you know, uh, spy on us psychics on our channel to see what we're saying. And then they're turning around and trying to make it their own. So it's just really you know, just like really dumb. Um, but anyways, so I did put some lipstick on for you guys because I've been looking hideous lately and I just was like, maybe I should just put myself together, but I don't have makeup on. I just have some lipstick on. So some gloss on. So I want to take a look at them. And before I do that, I want to tune into them because I'm not a fake channel and I'm actually a psychic empath. And because um, there's a lot of fake channels out there, allegedly. Allegedly, there's a lot of fake channel channels out there. That's what I'm going to see. And the tea is hot, honey. I'm going to tune into Justin and Selena, okay? So, obviously, first thing is Selena is a queen and she's looking for a king. Justin, right now, is this little kid still that's running around skateboarding throughout his house. And he's very much still in that energy space of a 14, 15 year old because I think when he got famous, uh, it was like he was really, really young. And for some reason, that has stuck with him. Like he feels like that's what the viewers want to see. That's what the audience wants to see. That's what the fans want to see. So he's, so he's very much trying to stay in that energy of like staying like a little kid because that's when he was popular. That's when he was famous. That's when he was loved. That's why he was like showered by all these girls and stuff, throwing themselves at him. So you have to understand the psychology behind that, that he views himself like if he behaves that way, he's still going to have that fame and, and attention and stuff like that. So, however, we know that that's not true. He's almost 30. He looks different. He's turning into a man, like physically, like his, he looks older. He looks different. Um... And yeah, so, and their relationship with Haley and him are very much like a parent-child relationship. She kind of mothers him or just kind of has to constantly, um, you know, uh, talk about like, like I can just hear her say like, you know, did you take your medicine? Like, you know, did you do this? Did you, did you do the oxygen tank or whatever the fuck they were showing on their documentary? So it's a very parent-child thing and it is really unattractive. And at some point, your man is going to be kind of repulsed by you because no man wants to have sex with their mom. So it is like the kiss of death when you start try to parent your man. When you start to mother your man, it's a kiss of death because when your man when your man is around their mom, like they don't have any sexual desires. That's their mommy and they go into that infant child child energy of like their mom, you know, hugging them and cradling them and and feeding them and it's like you don't want to do that you don't want to do that in a relationship if you want to keep it and if you want to have longevity in your relationship so that's why that relationship is doomed the other reason that that relationship is doomed is because they have really never been on the red carpet together i think one time recently they did that but they have never ever been on the red carpet together and i feel like Justin feels very uncomfortable to go on the red carpet and say, this is my wife because of his history with Selena. And he just doesn't want to get hate and he just doesn't want to start anything. So that is an interesting psychology with Justin that is like, it's like Justin is still treating Haley like a side trick. He might be going on his Instagram live and saying, I love you and you're my wife and I'm so happy. But on red carpets, he doesn't do that. He, he, they're, They've never been on the red carpet together. Only one time, I think, when they were promoting something, I can't remember what it was, and she was wearing like a black thing and she looked weird because she looked like his mom. She looked all like, you know, kind of like like uh, mature looking with this like black outfit that she had and she had these awful, awful shoes on. These like block weird shoes with her toes hanging from the front. You know when women wear shoes that is like too small for them and then their toes like stick out? It was really unattractive. And next to each other, she looked like a little kid. Justin looked like a little kid. And Haley looked like, like his mom or his manager or his publicist. Like literally, Haley looks like his publicist. So that's an interesting energy that he's still 
treating Haley like a side chick. That's what I see psychically and I want to talk about that because I think that's an, that's a very interesting uh, 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 observation and I don't think anyone's really talking about that. I picked up on it. I hope no one's going to steal this because I hear that there's people out there on YouTube that go on psychic channels and take our intuition and our psychic abilities and our readings and then turn it and make it their own. So please don't do that. We're going to call you out on it. My alienators, we're going to call you out on it, right? Right, girls? Okay. Don't steal my content. Thank you very much. So, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so energetically, okay, you guys, I always talk about energy. Energetically, Justin Bieber is still treating Haley like a side chick. He's not publicly showing up on red carpets and things like that on a professional way. He might be at a park and hugging her, or kissing her or something like that, and the paparazzi takes pictures, or he might be at home on Instagram Live hugging her and kissing her and saying stuff like that. But in regards to his profession and his work and his career, he, he has not gone on the red carpet with her, promoting with her by his side. So I feel like somehow still, so back here, back of his mind, he's treating Haley like a side chick. Because guess what? Haley was a side chick. Also, a lot of viewers were telling me that the ring that was given to Haley supposedly was given to Selena first. We don't know that. Allegedly, that's the story. And that it's too big on her. And that it was given to her when Justin was still with Selena because apparently Justin gave it to Selena. Selena said no. Then he went to Haley and she said yes. So allegedly, that's the story. Okay. So... Having said all that, all this rambling I'm going on is now I want to take a look and see, do I have, am I going to get validated here with what I want, what I want to say? I'm going to look at the cards. I'm going to stage myself really quick. Is there validity in what I'm saying? Is there a future between Justin and Selena? Because we're talking about twin flames. So on my channel, we talk about energy. We talk about energy and I want to see if there's a future between Justin and Selena. The reason I'm doing this video is not like, oh, I shipped them together. I do. Oh, I shipped them together and I want them to get back together and I want him to dump Haley and all that stuff. I'm looking at it energetically because they're twin flames and twin flames can exist without each other. It's like you cut off your arm and you know you can go surgically and put that arm back on your body and like why wouldn't you do that to have your arm back that's basically what a twin flame is twin flame is very 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 difficult to walk away from and they end up they just can't be separated okay they just can't be separated so i want to take a look at that and see if if, if there is if there is light at the end of this tunnel if they are going to get back together i'm not gaining anything from this i don't wish any heartache on anyone you know what I mean I'm just trying to see energetically if if indeed this is something that's going to happen in the future for them okay and it's, this video has been highly requested so let's take a look I'm going to shuffle the cards that's Selena and this came upside down which is the, the two of wands it's like in the past she was waiting for him to turn around so the, what I got from that was that was Selena King uh, Queen of Cups as Cancer um and the two of wands upside down is it means <coughs> excuse me guys uh what that means is like in the past <coughs> excuse me guys uh that means like in the past selena did wait for justin and justin just couldn't get his shit together so right now she's like not waiting for him anymore so that was an interesting when i cut the cards so let's take a look and see though what's going on what's going on thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit um selena is going to become a mom selena is going to become a mom thank you spirit thank you spirit thank you spirit she's going this is new beginnings uh baby a new birth whether with your career or having actually a baby so there's a lot of wonderful things coming for selena for all this selena haters there's a lot of wonderful things coming for selena maybe people that are hating on her should just like worry about themselves you know what i mean uh just go do something with your life instead of sitting there and hating on someone like do something with your life that's kind of pathetic so let's take a look and see if there is a future 
between Justin and Serena. Thank you, Spirit. 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 Is there if is there a future between Justin and Selena? I'm going to pull four cards out. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Hierophant. We have the Chariot. And we have the Empress. Very interesting. Okay, so this is about you are riding high. Your enemies are below you because you're on the horse. Your enemies are down. <laughs> doing the thing that the haters on YouTube are doing in regards to Selena. I don't think there's that many haters. There's a couple of people and we know who they are. Um, the haters are on the bottom and they can't reach the person that's on the horse. The horse, the person that's on the horse is just like riding high and saying, okay, bitch, whatever you can hate, but I'm riding high. And then the next card is the Hierophant, which is commitment, relationship, marriage. I'm asking if Selena and Justin are going to get back together in the future. Timing, I have no fucking idea. I'm not a god, okay? I mean, I'm a goddess. So after that is chariot chariot is about movement victory winning um going after your dreams going after what you want in your life and then we got the empress so thank you spirit for that the empress is motherhood marriage being a woman being a mother so i want to ask and i say say is selena going to have those things that i just talked about with justin so let's get a clarification with that Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Is Selena going to have marriage and motherhood with Justin Bieber? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Is Selena Gomez going to have marriage, commitment, and motherhood with Justin Bieber? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Let's see. Yes, let's see. Ace of Swords, Two of Cups, The Fool and the nightmare card so it's showing that in the past they very much had that so in the past it was ace of swords it was very clear justin and selena wanted to spend their, the rest of their lives together they wanted to have children together they were very much married to each other already not on paper but that they lived together and lived together and worked together for a long time even though it was on and off then someone became a fool which is justin he became a fool and started fucking around and would go back and forth between Selena and Haley. And now uh, Justin is in this headspace, the Nine of Swords. Nightmares, unhappiness, depression, suicidal, okay? So uh, let's ask that again. The spirit is not answering me. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Will Selena and Justin get back together, get married, and have a child? Yes or no? Justin and Selena. Justin and Selena. The Knight of Cups, the, the Hermit card, the Temperance, and the King of Cups. Okay, here we go. So Justin came out. So Justin did propose to Selena. That's what this card is saying. Knight of Cups, he proposed to Selena. And Selena decided to stay single and not continue the toxic relationship that they were in. So that was her answer. I just want to be single. I just, I can't do this anymore. I can't handle this anymore. You can't make a commitment to me and you keep, you know, leaving me and for someone else and then come back to me. I can't do this anymore. So then Justin was like, what do I do? That's the temperance card, which is about creating balance, trying to decide between the two, literally. Trying to decide between the two cups. What do I do? And he looks like Justin. You see him? He's all blonde. What do I do? Do I go with Haley? Do I go, do I go with Selena? Do I go with Haley? Do I go with Selena? And there he is, King of Cups. So what he did is he went for Haley. Why did he go for Haley? Because Selena has had enough of his BS. And Haley was so desperate and so pathetic and so like sitting there by the phone waiting for him that even if he was going to say, uh, we can get back together, but I, I'm never going to be able to be committed to you. I'm still going to want to have sex with other women. She would have said yes, because she was so desperately wanting to win Justin, to get the ring, to get that relationship that, that her, him and Selena had. So this was a very interesting read that we just got that Justin proposed to Selena. Selena said, no, I can't do this anymore. 
my body has enough doesn't she say that in a song my body has enough and uh so justin's like what do i do because he was going between selena and Haley back and forth and he's like what am i going to do and so what he did was he decided to go to Haley. why the psychology of that is interesting because a man will ultimately want to marry and be with a woman that he feels 110 percent sure that she's never going to leave him she's not going to cheat on him that she's desperately madly in love with him and she's going to take his sh shit and like do whatever he says so ultimately that is what men end up doing but the irony of that is that the irony of that is that they get bored of it because it's too available it's too easy there's no healthy there's no uh uh give and take there's no you know push and push and shove like push and pull is what i meant there's no push and pull because in relationships what makes it like sexy and fun and you know keeping each other sustaining each other's energy and stuff is that kind of a back and forth thing it's just like if you're just like here i am i'm yours forever and you're just like this lame like it's just gonna kill it's just gonna kill the mood like whether it's for the woman or for the man so Justin made that decision and I and I know he's gonna get bored as fuck with her because she's way too available to him she mothers him everything their their relationship is doomed and their marriage is doomed so thank you so much spirit for that clarification I'm gonna pull a card on Selena how is Selena doing how is Selena doing she's being generous she's she's helping with this COVID-19 uh, pandemic thing she's being jealous what is Justin doing thank you spirit what is Justin doing what is Justin doing Justin is like, fuck my life. Um, he's not happy. He feels a huge responsibility on his back. A huge like, uh, you know, I'm married and uh, I have to grow up and I got to become a man and I have to be responsible for my actions and words and deeds. And it's just too much for him. It's just too much for him. He got married way too young. He was not ready for it. Um, and let's see what else is coming up. And we have, they both, Justin and Selena, both suffer from this back and forth thing. I don't know if it's a bipolar disorder. I'm not gonna say that on my video because I don't know them. I I, I don't have um, a degree in psychology. I'm not a psychiatrist, but the cards are suggesting that the indecisiveness and the back and forth thing, the, the mood swings allude to that kind of a bipolar disorder that Justin and Selena both express and talked about about their mental health okay i'm not like other channels that say i know for a matter of fact that you know selena is this and that so we're just going to say allegedly uh but you know the cards always show the truth uh this is justin unhappy he has everything available to him he has this girl available to him Haley. uh she'll do anything for him she will kill for him uh and that's not allegedly okay they keep getting this card the two of swords, the two of pentacles, this back and forth, indecisiveness, stuck. I can't move forward with my life. Justin can move forward with his life. And really, Selena can move forward in her life. Why? Because they're twin flames. And I guess this video is going to be a little complicated for you guys to understand because you don't understand the meaning of twin flames. And I'm going to have to do a separate video about what, what does it mean to have your twin What is the difference between twin flame and soulmate because when you guys when i do that video and you guys watch it maybe you will understand this video it's very difficult to not be with your twin flame they're your twin they're your twin so it's just like very difficult to move forward so they both are at a place where selena's doing much better than him but they're both at that same place energetically where they, they can't they can't move forward because they're each other's twin they have to be with each other and the spirit is not giving me an answer if they're going to be together or not anytime soon, but I feel like they are going to find their way. Let's ask one more time. They are going to find their way. Are they going to find their way? Will Selena and Justin find their way back to each other? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. The emperor, the seven of pentacles, the chariot. We got the chariot again and the ace of cups. It is possible that that loves opens opens up to them again and um i just don't see it happening right now i just don't see it happening right now um yeah i feel like what needs to happen is 
I don't know if it's going to happen. The Three of Swords is, is still very much apparent and valid here. Justin, Haley, and Selena. Haley is the third wheel. Haley is the wedge between Justin and Selena. Justin and Selena are twin flames. They were meant to be together and no relationship is perfect and no one is perfect. And if they've had problems in the past, it doesn't mean that they don't have the right to be together again in the future. But, but, but Haley is the middle sword. She's the wedge and she's the problem. So uh, I feel like, I don't know if this is going to happen, but I feel like what's gonna happen is Justin needs to go be on his own for a little while and really reflect on, do I wanna go, do I wanna spend the rest of my life? Hold on guys, my foot just falling asleep. Do I want to spend the rest of my life away from my soulmate, my twin flame more than anything? So energetically, psychically, I'm going to say this right now, okay? Justin is distracting himself with Haley. It's not true love. It's not a true connection. And it's not a, it's not a real sustainable relationship. It's a sexual relationship. It's a uh, infatuation from from uh, Haley's part. Maybe for Justin too, it is some sort of a sexual infatuation thing. But it's not love. It's not that deep connection. It's not that soul connection, and it's not the twin flame connection. And that's why it's not going to last. So that's what I wanted to look at today for you guys because this video was highly requested. I love you guys so much for having my back and supporting me. All the new subscribers that are coming to me from all the toxic channels, welcome. We have a lot of fun. I'm all about positivity and having fun. And also, I like to be silly and have a good time because life is too short, and I don't take myself I don't take myself seriously. And I want to inspire you guys and have fun with you guys during this pandemic. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is safe. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos. So um, remember every day I upload at noon. I do a uh, tea morning tea with Ellie live stream in the morning. And then I may do a super chat later in the day. So we are going to be productive and we're going to have fun. And we are just gonna stay positive even though we are, I'm getting haters, I guess. Uh, on my channel which is all good anyways i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoy this vid video let me know your thoughts and feelings about the subject down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye